Hi there, my name is Kevin and I am the Roland Product Specialist for Anderton's Music. I'm here with Paul today from our high tech department to talk to you about Roland V accordions. So Paul, you've been uh, at Anderton's now for about three years and uh, it's only fairly recently we found out about your, your accordion abilities. Um, so just talk a bit about you know how wh how old were you when you started learning what type of accordion you you, you play and, and and so forth. Uh, well, I uh, started playing when I was six. Uh, I obviously went to school, um, which was like a music school, um, and um, I started obviously with standard piano accordion. <laughs> Which was Delicia, it's like an older Czech accordion, and uh, and I studied basically for 12, 13 years, yeah. and uh, you know got a few grades and then and, uh, I played actively uh, for a while until was twenty until I came to England essentially. Uh, so I haven't been playing actively for about ten years really, but uh, now I'm obviously getting back to it you know, thanks to Roland. <laughs> So how do you find um, the the accordion, uh, the, the the V accordion, to to your your, your acoustic accordion you have at home? Uh, in all honesty, it doesn't feel that different, um, and it, which really surprised me because I thought that uh, there will be like a blatant uh, you know difference between this and my real accordion. Uh, now I have well by Star actually, which I play uh, back at home. Um, because you can basically customize this, you can customize, for example, the resistance of the bellows. Um, also, the key action is really good, uh, and the button uh, action is really good. So, uh, to me, it actually feels really pleasant, feels really uh, like the real things. mentioned previously um, about the resistance of the of the bellows and, and how that compares to your, your acoustic uh, accordion that you have at home. Um, so you, you've got an adjustment um, dial here, is that, is that right? So, yeah. So, um, so that, that changes what the inertia of the, of the, of the bellows. Of the bellows, yeah. Yeah, so how, how does that feel, uh, you know, obviously, you know, just, just talk us through how, how you would can, how you'd change that and, and how that would respond to the, to the bellows. Uh, basically, on uh, an acoustic accordion, what you will experience, especially if it's older accordion, that uh, the bellows will let some air through. You know, so so basically, that the bellows feel looser to play. So if you're used to that sort of thing, then uh, you can just adjust this and make it looser. So it will. Uh, you can see that at the moment there's only a little bit going through, uh, which yeah. is fine, which is what I like. Um, so that will be very close to what I have at home. So we spend a lot of time in in our in the Anderson's piano department, you know, we, and we talk to customers about the different key actions that you get on on digital pianos versus you know acoustic pianos. How would you say that the uh, the, the the piano action on the on the FR3X compares to say like your your Weltmeister uh, acoustic accordion? Uh, well, I actually quite like this uh, key action because it's uh, a little bit more shallow. So what that allows me to do is to play you know really fast passages really easily. Uh, which I quite like, you know, the world master key action is really deep. Um, so, uh, yeah, I really like it. Uh, in terms of buttons, um, it's, it's more or less the same there. I think they're sort of standard across the board, no matter what the accordion is. So, uh, but the actual uh, piano action here is, is brilliant. <laughs>
Um, so moving on from the, the bass buttons, we also have some uh, different left hand bass options, uh, so standard, uh, uh, free bass. Do you want to just talk us through a couple of the, the different options that you get from sort of standard accordion mode and, and performance mode? Mm -hmm. Well, obviously you've got the regular bass, regular accordion bass and different registers that you can use, slightly beefier sound, etc. But then also within performance, for example, uh, you can get... Yeah. Depends on what performance is, but you can have, uh, you know, sort of more jazzy drums or, you know... Choir effects. Choir effects. And you can change these actually within performance, which is pretty cool, because I can have organ, then I can have... Oh, guitar, yeah. yeah, and then... I think there's yeah. so yeah, there's it's quite a little option really. Okay. Talk to us a little bit about the, the vehicle and your plane today, Paul. Right, so uh, Roland FR3X is uh, basically 120 bass um, and a 37 key accordion, which is a very playable size. Um, obviously covers, you know, your usual uh, playing at home, but also, you know, can be used for a serious performance, mainly due to the fact that you've got 120 bass. Um, in terms of uh, sound options, obviously you've got your standard section with standard registers, but then you have sets which are really useful because for that you can, they actually cover all the popular styles. So you've got classic jazz, uh, you know, folk, and there is Italian, German, French. Uh, so there's a lot of sounds on board actually, you just not stuck with the registers itself, you know, you've got obviously the sound sets. And then obviously performance, which is your, uh, you know, accordion sound mixed with, say, perhaps, you know, a flute or something along those lines. Uh, and uh, drum section here. So, you know, that's for the sort of more, you know, uh, complex sort yeah, of yeah. tunes. Um, so it's all velocity sensitive, like the buttons and the and the, and the keys Yeah, of course, well, yeah, so. all the spells. Is just, obviously, the, 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 you know, it pre primarily responds to the bellows. So yeah. it depends how much you pull this, how much yeah. velocity you're going to get, uh, or volume. Um, and uh, in terms of other bits that uh, are quite useful, obviously, you, you can mix balance between bass and, uh, and the actual uh, keys here, which is quite nice. Uh, and also you've got a couple of effects here, uh, effect section reverb and chorus, which you can change, um, which is really useful. And a, and a treble, treble bright switch as well, which is Yeah, nice which, is, which is actually quite a nice thing, because uh, you know, some of the mellow stuff, when you play like some of the French stuff, it's nice with the mellow, it, it makes it a little bit more sort of pleasant to listen to, where the bright sort of classical stuff, you know, more, perhaps more aggressive stuff, is nice on, um, you know, to br bright switch, um, with the bright switch on. Yeah. So, uh, you, you, you said about th this being a good size for personal performance or, or you know, uh, at home or, or, or to take out and play publicly. Um, so it's, it's nice it's got an internal speaker set in there. So it's, it's, it's you know, we've, we've been playing around this room. It's quite, it's quite a loud speaker set, isn't it? So you, yeah. it'd, be, it'd be ample for um, to take out in a public performance. Um, but, you, you know, talking previously with you, it's nice it's got a headphone output. Yes. So, you know, if you are rehearsing at home because you've had it at home in your, in your flat, I'm sure your neighbours are happy that uh, <laughs> you've been playing at three o'clock in the morning, playing some accordion. Yeah, I mean, it's it's probably one of the most amazing features, really, that, or the feature that I appreciate uh, a lot because, you know, the real accordion obviously makes awful lot of noise. Uh, and it depends how you're playing it as well, so, the, you know. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, it obviously cuts out the sound completely and, you know, you can play silent, which is a massive advantage and massive upgrade to the instrument. So uh, I really love that part, so... Mm. On top of the the featured accordion sounds we have in the in the FR three X, what um you, you get other sounds as well, don't you? So it's not just just accordion sounds. You get a few others. Do you want to just play a couple through and and just show us what we've got? Yeah, sure. Uh, you got basically you know saxophone sounds, some of the brass sounds, so That's good. something along those lines, or flutes, that sort of thing. But also you get tone wheel organ switch. 
to a nicely respond to the bellows as well. So they're yeah. not. It's not like they're. You know, the keys are bellows. It's, it's actually the bellows that. Uh, so the bellows has co yeah. complete control as it would. Do. Yeah, over the sound, which is brilliant, and especially on the brass sounds. You know, it's, it sort of, you know, adds a little bit of um, more control over the sound, which is quite nice. Uh, the biggest thing, I, I guess, um, potential uh, viewers of this video want to know is, uh, does it have jazz flute? Yes, uh, it uh, does have jazz flute, very good one. Velmi dobru, jazzovou flautu. So one of the nice things that you get with electronic instruments is, you know, the ability to create your own performances and and, and save them. So you're, so you're able to do that on the on the accordion as well. Is that right? Yeah. And and, and what's that saving? Is that just individual sounds, or is it saving? Uh, performance uh, performances that you create. Uh, it's pretty predominantly designed for saving the performances, really. Um, and um, and it's got USB as well, so you can back those up. Is that right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I, I think you know the easiest way to do it is really to put a USB stick that there's a slot uh, at the right. back of this. Um, and uh, obviously, on top of on top of just saving your sets, you can also you know put WAV files on there and uh, basically you know use them as a backing track. Oh, right, so you can you can just put all your your backing tracks on there and t take the accordion out as is and and uh, play along to them. Yeah, and then and the controls for that are just on the top there. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for uh, for for doing this video and uh, showing us your skills. Uh, it's been a pleasure and uh, it's been it's been fun watching you at the shop uh, demoing away. For more information on Roland V accordions, why don't you check out Anton's website listed below, or alternatively come into the shop and have a chat with Paul and myself um, about the range. Over to you, Paul. <laughs>